Pharmacy of the Republic Act No. 5921, the College of Nursing of the Republic Act No. 9170, the College of Medical Technology of the famous Republic Act No. 5527 or the RA5527. So today I will share some information about the RA5527. So at the end of the day, you'll be able to know what is RA5527 when it is approved in the sections under this app. So what is RA5527? It is an app requiring for the registration of the medical technologies, defining their practices, and for other purposes. So what are the sections under this app? For the section 1, we have the title, which is the Philippine Medical Technology Act of 1969. Section 2, the definition of terms, starting with the practice of medical technology. A person shall for a fee, salary, or reward given directly or indirectly. The pathologist, a duly registered physician. Medical technologist, a person who engages in the practice of medical technology. Medical laboratory technician, a person who is qualified by the board to assist medical technology. Accredited Medical Technology Training Laboratory, a clinic or hospital accredited by the BOH. <laughs> Recognized School of Medical Technology, any school or university accredited, accredited by the CHED. Council is for education, board is for examination. Section 3, Council of Medical Technology Education is composition. So we have a chairman, vice chairman, and two board members. Section 4, compensation and traveling expenses of council members. Each meeting, the chairman is entitled for 50 pesos per day, and the members are entitled 25 pesos per day. Section 5, functions of the Council of Medical Technology. Education. So the functions of the council are to recommend, approve, and prescribe rules and regulations. Section 6, minimum required course. Medical technology course shall be at least four years course, including a 12 months internship. Section 7, medical technology board. So the chairman is Marilyn, Marilyn Barza and the members are Marilyn, Tan Marilyn Achenza and Marilyn Tanico. Section E, qualifications of examiners. So every, so every applicant must be a Filipino citizen, must be in, or is of good moral character, and not, in the, not a member of faculty of any medical school for at least two years. Section 9, Executive Officer of the Board is the PRC Commissioner. Section 10, Compensation of Members of the Board of Examiners for Medical Technology. So each member of the Board is entitled for 10, 10 pesos for each applicant examined and 5 pesos for each applicant of COR or Certificate of Registration. Section 11, Functions and Judges of the Board. The functions of the Board shall, or the Board shall administer, oath, issue, revoke, and suspend COR. Section 12, the removal of board members. So any, any member of the Board may be removed for neglect of duty, malpractice, and dishonorable conduct. Section 13, Accreditation of Schools of Medical Technology and, for, and of Training Laboratories. So the CHED will approve or accredit schools of medtech and the DOH will approve the training laboratories or the lab or hospital. Section 14, Inhibition Against the Practice of Medical Technology. So no person shall practice medical technology without a COR or certificate of registration. Section 15, the examination. So the examination fee is 900 pesos and the exam or the board exam for medics 
is usually conducted during March, September, and August. And also, the testing areas are in Manila, Cebu, Davao, and Baguio. Section 16, Qualification for Examination. The qualification for examination is also much uh, likely the same as Section 8. So, each applicant must be in good health and is of good moral character. Section 17, Scope of Examination. So, the coverage of the examination is clinical chemistry 20%, microbiology 20%, hematology 20%, blood pumping 20%, 10% of clinical microscopy, and 10% of physical pathology techniques, a total of 100%. Section 18, report of rating, 120 days after the examination, the board will submit the result to the Commissioner of Civil Service. Section 19, rating in the examination. So every applicant must obtain at least 75% of the general average and no rating below 50% of the major subjects. Section 20, the oath taking. So all the successful examinees must take the professional oath taking which is administered by the board of Medtech. So section 21, issuance of certificate of registration. So all the ex all the all the examinees who pass the board must have a certificate of registration. Section 22, the fees, 25 pesos for the COR and 10 pesos for the replacement of COR. Section 23, the refusal to issue certificate. The board may refuse to issue certificate to any person convicted by the court of any criminal offense. Section 24, administrative investigation, revocation or suspension of certificate. The administrative investigation shall be conducted by at least two members of the board and a legal officer. Section 25, appeal. So, revocation and suspension of certificates made by the board must be subject to appeal to the Commission of Civil Service. Section 26, reinstatement, reissue, or replacement of certificate. The board may reissue, replace, or the board may reissue or replace any revoked certificate of registration. Section 27, foreign reciprocity. No foreigner shall be given an exam, COR, or be entitled to any of the rights under this act. Section 28, Roster of Medical Technologies. The Roster of Medical Technologies shall be prepared annually by the Secretary of the Board. Section 29, Penal Provisions. Any illegal practice of medicine shall be punished by a fine for for at least 2,000 or more than 5,000 pesos or imprisonment for at least 6 months or more than 2 years or both. Section 30, the separability clause. All acts, rules, and regulations with, with, the, with the provision of a person to a person is declared invalid by a competent, competent of jurisdiction. Section 31, Repealing Clause, all acts, rules, and regulations hereby repealed, repeal, provided that nothing in this act shall be construed. Section 32, Effectivity. This act may take effect upon approval. So it is approved on June 21, 1969. Thank you for listening and I hope you learned.